Hello, my beautiful loves. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Cancerian only channel. Um, cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you can go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is uh, listed in the description box below. I also have a Virgo only channel. So for anyone cross watching for Virgo, or if you are a Virgo, um, the link is below. Okay. Okay. Uh, TikTok is below. Recommended readers are below. Are below. Um, decks used are below. Uh, if you would like a personal reading, my phone number is below. Um, what else? Oh, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do monthly giveaways on this channel. I post the winners on uh, the community page on the first of the month. Um, it's very simple to win. You're just going to hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section. In the description box, you'll find a whole list of everything that I give away. So choose what you want and just post it in the comment section. Um, guys, I'm sorry I wasn't able to post yesterday. I had a massive migraine. It was like so bad, but I'm feeling better today. Um, other than that, let's get started. We're going to do an oracle reading. We're going to get into the tarot. And guys, readings can be uh, vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way, um, you know, fits your situation. If it doesn't resonate, then it's just not your story. And um, this can be energy in or around you. So this could even be something that someone close to you is going through. Okay. All right. So let's get popping here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, we've got the letter and the moon. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have the child and concern. Under the deck, we've got courtship and mature man, courthouse, bad house. Okay, all right, let's see here. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so let's start with this oracle and then we'll get, we'll move on to, um, Okay, let's start with this oracle and then we'll move on to the other oracles. So, Cancer, numbers here that may be uh, relevant to you, okay? Uh, someone here may be 27 years old. The 27th of the month may be important. Someone here may be 32. Um, someone here may have an 18-year-old child. You may have been with someone for 18 years. There may be a four or five-year age difference between you and your person. Maybe you met them in April or May. Someone maybe has a birthday on these dates, um, on these months, excuse me, or the days of the month, the fourth and the fifth maybe mean something to you. Someone here may be 31, 33, or 23. Um, the 23rd or 31st of the month may be relevant to you, okay? It could be the day of the month, maybe a birthday or an anniversary. So Cancer, you're about to receive some information here that you didn't know, okay? There's some information here coming to light that you were not aware of okay and i feel like with child concern courtship mature man courthouse and bad health so we may have possibly a father figure here okay for so there's two different stories here so there's a relationship here that's starting Okay. And I feel like this mature man is concerned about this decision. And I mean, I'm talking about concern to the point that they're like so worried that they're getting sick over it. So this could be a father that is just not liking this connection. Uh, you know, mature man and child. That's why I say father. Now, this could also be maybe a husband figure. If you have children with this person, maybe, um, 
that, you know, especially if you have children with this person, you don't have to have children with them. This can also be a husband here that may be worried that, you know what I'm saying, they're going to receive divorce papers, okay? Someone here is saying, I don't love you anymore. This can't go any further. We've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and honeymoon in the reverse. So if it's a father figure, I feel like the father figure is saying, this is not love. It's not going to last. And if it's a husband figure, someone here is saying, I don't love you anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So we've got resistance. You are not opening up to a situation or opportunity. Your soul is nudging you to move forward in a direction that is in alignment with your soul and life purpose. Be willing to take steps forward. Trust your intuition and higher guidance. The right path is revealing itself to you. Tear down the walls and barriers so that movement forward can occur. So Cancer, there is someone here. So if you're a child and your parents don't approve of the connection, you may not, you may be holding yourself back, okay? Um, if you are a person that is married and, you know, your person doesn't want to let the marriage go, or if you're in a relationship and the person doesn't want to let the connection go, you may be holding back because you feel bad or guilty, okay? We've got, please forgive me, outdated thinking, conditioning, and replaying events over in your head. And then we've got a abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss and bliss so what we have here is someone that feels guilty because they want to move forward towards this beautiful opportunity so if it's a child that's telling and when i say child i'm talking like you know someone maybe in their 30s cancer you know so if it's a person that you know is is you know feels bad that they're disappointing their parents someone here is saying listen i'm sorry you know what i'm saying maybe your your thinking is a little outdated you know what I'm saying get with the we're in 2022 here you know um so I feel like someone you know is telling their parents forgive me or this can be an energy here of someone telling their spouse or their person listen I have found happiness with the abundance card and I keep replaying the events over and over in our head you know I know you want forgiveness here but I can't get over the things that have happened in this relationship and it's just not working for me anymore and I want to move on okay Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we have here today for Cancer? Okay, yep. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Oh, and the loving man and new supportive connections and deserving. Okay, so Cancer, um, the numbers 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 6 may be prevalent. Those could be days of the month. They could be the month of the year. It could be uh, an age difference between you and your person. Or it could be... Um, how long you've been with them maybe okay so we've got courage and commitment here okay someone here has not been fully moving towards a commitment or a situation they're gaining the courage to do so though we've got courage and commitment someone here wants this new beginning someone here new supportive connections the loving man someone here wants to show their love someone here feels like they're getting the love that they deserve or someone here is feeling feeling that someone here is deserving of love and they're realizing here that a cycle needs to shut out because they're staying stuck like they're not fully giving themselves to a connection okay spirit what messages do we have here for cancer what messages do we have here for cancer um we also have the number seven here spirit is saying go to the sea and loyal heart someone here may be actually traveling overseas um someone here may be moving closer to water or someone here you know when i say go to the sea you know the the water represents emotion okay and loyal heart um and we've got a change in the wind the number 12 and 35 may also be prevalent um so guys i feel like someone here is wanting to move forward emotionally okay now again someone could be traveling overseas moving with someone that's closer to the water whether that's a lake or the ocean I feel like with loyal heart and a change in the wind, someone here is following their heart. Okay, and we've got serendipity and co-create. Someone here, oh, look at this. Serendipity, co-create, and new life. Cancer and building blocks. Someone here wants to build a life with you, Cancer. And we've got chaos and conflict. Someone here is trying to prevent that from happening, but I feel like they're overcoming whatever challenges we have here. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about cancer, please. What does cancer need to know here today, please, spirit? 
we've got big happy changes i mean big happy changes cancer i feel like you're about to be very happy there is a third party here there is a third party that really doesn't want to see this come together tell me about cancer please sun moon right work through your fears and it's time to release negative uh it's time to release negativity expect positive change so cancer someone here has been fearing leaving their relationship or someone here has been fearing moving towards a connection because of what their parents might think uh tell me about cancer Ooh. Wow. Okay. That's a whole different deck. <laughs> I, I picked up a card from uh, the runes deck. We've got Wunyo, which is joy, happiness. Oh, look at this. Wow. I didn't even realize that I pulled these. Okay. Burkana is joy and happiness in a soul tie connection. Burkana is a strong relationship card. It would be like a representation of the two of cups. We've got Rado and we've got Dagas. That's an indication. Rado is also a representation of travel. It's forward movement. It's, you know what I'm saying? Someone's getting in their car or whatever and traveling towards you. Um, with Dagas, that's a beautiful and a uh, successful conclusion to something and then we've got door to personal healing and happiness that's popped out cancer this is insane this is insane so let's see here we've got children you may have children with this person possibly you may have children with this person or it could be that someone here is younger oh wow we've got a, a twin flame here um i feel like you know, you may, someone here may have children, but you've met your twin flame. Tell me about this children card. Yeah, Ice Queen. Someone here is either, there's either a parent that's trying to protect their children or a parent that's saying, you know, yeah, like, you know, like uh, someone here is being strict with their child. And again, when I say child, this person could be 30, 40 years old, you know, in late 20s, you know. Um, but I feel like someone's coming to the realization that this is, they need to free themselves because someone here has realized that they've met their true love. They've met their twin flame. Okay. Um look at this communication past love and travel this could be someone that you already know cancer this could be someone that you already know that you've known for quite some time with past love it could be someone that you dated before or someone that you were with before possibly okay so let's go ahead and see what we have here for the tarot spirit tell me about cancer please sun moon rising and venus signs what what else does cancer need to know here please spirit what else does cancer need to know here please spirit what else does cancer need to know okay so we've got the lover's card in the reverse gemini energy we've got the three of cups in the reverse we've got the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy seven of cups in the reverse and then we've got the king of wands leo sag aries energy with the queen of pentacles in the reverse capricorn taurus virgo energy we've got the hermit under the deck and the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy so cancer i feel here that with the queen of pentacles Pentacles in the reverse and the king of wands here if you look this king of wands is looking at the queen of pentacles in the reverse so someone here is looking at someone and saying this person's non-committal they're irresponsible um you know what i'm saying someone here is looking at someone in this energy so this could be a father figure or a parent figure possibly convinced you know because the king of wands when the king of wands is convinced of something cancer forget it you know so this could be someone saying with the queen of pentacles in the reverse you know, either it's a parent figure saying this person's not for you, it's not going to last, or this could be, you know, a husband or a wife seeing that their person is being disloyal. Seven of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Cups here. I feel like someone is gaining clarity on who they love and who they want to offer their heart to three of cups in the reverse and the lover's card in the reverse i feel like someone here is saying i don't want this to be a third party because the lover's card can be a representation of needing to choose between two situations and i feel like one situation is toxic here because with the lover's card we've got the snake wrapped around the tree and we've got you know the adam and eve thing happening so i feel like one situation here is a little toxic maybe someone mentality is outdated or maybe someone here has been toxic in the relationship and you're like listen as much as I love you I don't want to do this anymore I'm in love with someone else three of cups in the reverse I feel like someone here is saying you know first of all I don't want to be in a third party or you know there's just too many people 
there's just too many people in this boat under the deck we've got like there's too many people being involved in my personal love life you know we've got the hermit virgo energy and the queen of swords so cancer you may have been dealing with someone that has been very guarded they haven't opened up and that's because with the hermit this person's been thinking page of wands leo sag aries energy and the hierophant so someone here is saying listen i want to commit to this person yes yeah, see the star and the knight of wands someone here is saying this person makes me happy and i want to go towards them tell me about the queen of pentacles in the reverse for cancer we've got the sun card and we have the seven of wands so cancer someone here is coming forward and telling somebody someone here is going to be honest listen i don't want to do this anymore okay now i feel like the queen of pentacles though is the per is the the person that everyone keeps talking about so that could be you cancer i feel like someone here is trying to convince someone like someone here is picking out flaws so that seven of wands is generally someone holding one wand and six wands coming at someone so i feel like this king of wands energy is picking out flaws but you know that you know they don't come from a good family right you know this person has a drug history right you know this person isn't our religion right think of all the things that are going to change for you oh this person doesn't know how to cook or oh this person doesn't have a job or oh this person this and with the seven of wands i feel like someone here is like i don't care like i don't want to hear it these things have nothing to do with love do you understand um the three of wands and the emperor and the six of swords cancer someone here is trying to break free someone here is trying to stand up for themselves and go after what they want leave something behind and move to people more peaceful waters we've got the four of wands here twin flame energy the 11 11 card someone here is trying to move towards their person tell me about this king of wands oh i pulled two cards we've got the six of swords again and the four of cups i feel like this king of wands is trying to make this person feel guilty for moving on Okay, they're trying to make this person feel guilty for moving on. Yeah, see, look, look at what we have here. We've got the strength card, the ten of wands, and the five of cups, and the chariot. Someone here is trying to hold your person back because your person is gaining the courage to stand up for themselves, but they're overwhelming your person with guilt for with the chariot going after what they want, and what they want is the ten of cups, and that's why there's stagnation here we've got the devil uh, we've got the devil here capricorn energy and the nine of wands someone here i hate to say it is a little toxic nine of wands and the eight of cups someone here is very toxic they are trying to stop someone from leaving and walking away so again this could be a marriage partner it could be the mother or father of your children it could be you know someone that you're just with boyfriend girlfriend whatever or it could be a parent figure seven of cups in the reverse seven of ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I tried to catch it. I got to catch it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm in my pajamas today because I wasn't feeling good yesterday. Eight of wands in the reverse and the seven of cups in the reverse. Tell me about the seven of cups in the reverse. The hanged man in the reverse. Okay. So, Cancer, someone here is getting enlightenment on what they need to do. And what they need to do is stop talking to all of these people about their business. Someone here has gotten to the point where they're no longer saying, they, they don't want to talk about it anymore. Someone here is saying, I don't want to talk about what's happening anymore. Tell me about the Knight of Cups here. I don't want to talk about my love life anymore. It's, it's not anyone's business anymore. Two of Cups in the reverse and the Two of Wands in the reverse. So Cancer, someone here is saying, I don't want to do this. I want to give my heart to who I want to give my heart to, even if that means I have to end a relationship. Someone is choosing to end a relationship. Tell me about the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups in the reverse and the six of cups with the death no excuse me yeah the death card in the reverse scorpionic energy cancer someone here does not want any third parties in the picture they don't they don't want to lie they don't want to yeah they don't want to lie they don't want to be sneaky they don't want this to be a third party anymore someone here is going back to a past person and they don't want this to end with the seven of swords and the five of pentacles someone here is sneaking away they're ghosting someone they're leaving someone behind tell me about the lover's card in the reverse we have the ten of swords and we've got the ace of pentacles in the reverse yeah someone here does not uh want 
Someone here is ending something. Someone here is ending something because they don't want to continue on with that relationship. This is a huge karmic cycle that's happening here. Look, we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. This King of Pentacles is rushing towards their Queen of Pentacles, which I don't know if the Queen of Pentacles should be in the reverse. I feel like this King of Wands is trying to portray this queen of pentacles as the queen of pentacles in the reverse you know what i'm saying like is this really who you you know oh they have tattoos is that really the type of person you want to have children with what do tattoos have to do with anything like you know what i'm saying it's like someone here maybe has an outdated t thinking if it's parents right and if it's you know a love relationship someone here is trying to make someone feel guilty like are you really going to leave your kids are we really going to file for a divorce are you really going to do this to our family like someone here is guilt tripping someone into for some of you it could be a love interest and for some of you it could be a parent figure that's doing this okay so this is a little juicy we're gonna so someone here is really like stepping up to the plate with that world card that we've seen a couple times this is somebody that's breaking free or breaking a cycle and closing out that cycle so Let's take it into the extended. We're going to find out a little bit more about this king and queen of pentacles, which I feel like is you and your person. And we're going to find out a little bit more about that king of wands energy. And the king of wands could be male or female. We don't read gender in tarot, okay? Um, so this could be three females that are going through this. It doesn't matter. So in the extended, we're going to find out about the king and queen of pentacles, which is the couple that's in love. And we're going to find out about this third party that is really trying to, whether it's romantic or parents this person is really given it's very toxic it's becoming toxic is what's happening like someone here is so dead set on not seeing someone in a relationship it's becoming toxic okay so let's go ahead and take it into the extended and see what we have going on here and what the outcome is going to be i love you guys so very much and i will see you soon i'll see you in the extended take care bye loves